Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, we're going to talk about optimizing HTML. So with WordPress, there's you're kind of stuck where you can, what op, HTML you can optimize. If you've done a, a test for GT metrics or Google PageSpeed tool, you've seen the, the notification that you need to minify your HTML. So in WordPress, it makes it a little bit difficult because the way WordPress displays content. Now, if you haven't built your theme, you also have your header, your footer, your menus, all that kind of stuff that is not going to be uh, minified in HTML. But there is a way to do it so that you can minify as much as possible, especially if you've built your own theme, you can minify all that HTML and save yourself some points and some load times on, on page loads. So I'm gonna show you guys how to write a quick little function that will minify the content of the HTML from WordPress. All right, so let's get started. So here on our ideapro.io site that we do testing and stuff, we have some content here on the front page. So we're gonna to go to pages and homepage and this is our page here that has, you know, a couple of, um, has a welcome message here and a couple of lorem ipsum paragraphs that show up here, right? So we're gonna add, let's do a, let's do an image. <laughs> let's just find something in the media library. I have no idea what's in here. Um, a random picture of somebody. So we're gonna put that in there. We're going to come down here and we're going to do a another image image there it is and no i want to upload cancel media library we're just going to add this image in there all right and so then if we copy this text here this lorem ipsum here and come down here and paste this text. All right, so now we've got some content on this page. Let's go back here and refresh. All right, so now we've got some content on this page. Definitely not optimized. Those images are really, really large. Um, they're not showing up very large, but they're, they're pretty large. And if we view the page source, come down here. A lot of our sites are optimized already by plugins and stuff that we've built. As we come down here, now we've got, um, this here, which is the lorem ipsum uh, and an image tag and a paragraph tag. And so there's a lot of white space in here. We've got one, two, three, three blank lines in between each one of these uh, paragraph tags or this figure tag and the paragraph tag here. So we've got a lot of space in between, you know, welcome the welcome message. Then we've got three lines of blank text, which is insane that it puts that many uh, blank lines in there, but it does, right? So I'm gonna show you how to write a quick function that will optimize the content coming from WordPress, all right? So let's go to our development area and we're in our functions.php page. And then we have our index.php page here, which is the default uh, page, which is what's running this page here. It's the template for that page. So we're gonna to go to our functions.php page and we're gonna just write a function. So we're gonna say clean up WordPress WP HTML. It can be any name that you wanna name your function there. All right. And so then we're gonna add a filter. Oops. And then tell it what we want to filter. And that what we wanna filter is the content. Okay, so add filter the content, and then we're gonna do our callback function here. So when we um, filter the content, we want it to run this function. Now, the attribute inside of our function here needs to be a variable, and we're just gonna call it content, so that in here we can now, um, 
manage that content. We can add to it. If we want to add something to every page in our entire WordPress website, we could say content is equal to dollar sign content, oops, dot, and we'll add a break. Thank you for visiting our page, right? If you didn't build your theme and you want to add something to every uh, page, you can do something like that. If you don't want to edit the footer, you know, the header, the footer, or each individual template, you could just add a filter to the content, right? So if we save this, come back and go back here and we refresh and we got a problem. Oh, didn't return the content. Return content. There we go. So now we have the regular content and then down here at the bottom, thank you for visiting our page, all right? But that's not what we're talking about here. What we're talking about here is we want to edit the content to clean up and remove any of the white space. All right, so this takes a preg replace and I have a copy of it over here because this is something that you really is hard to keep up with of what each individual, and I can do a video on preg replace of each individual code that goes, you know, what each individual little uh, character does. But so basically preg replace, and then this little bit here, dollar sign I, dollar sign two, and then the content, and we're returning it here. So that's really the only line of code that we need. All right, so we come back here, we refresh, we see that our page is still loading normally. And we go back over here, if we look, we're at 63 lines of code before the optimization. And now we hit refresh. And so now you see all this HTML is optimized. It's all minified. And now we're at a total of 47 lines of code, right? So, We've basically taken out almost 20 lines of code or 20 blank lines from the code to minify the HTML for our WordPress. All right. Now you can build this into a uh, plugin, which what we do, we build into a plugin that we use on all the sites. I will um, include this code in the uh, description down below and if you need to know how to build a plugin, I'll link the card up here and the video in the description on how to build a plugin. And you can include this function on any of the plugins or you can include it on your functions.php file and you're gonna be good to go. So hope you like this video, share it with anyone that you think will learn from it or will benefit from using that to uh, minify their HTML in their WordPress website and click the bell for notifications, subscribe, leave me a comment for videos that you uh, want me to do, and I'll see you in the next video.